Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will teach you guys how to cut a, a straight bustier cut and it's going to be a peplum blouse. So, this is the fabric I'm using. Just cut out one yard, then you come it with your ST. So, uh, preferably, it's good to cut with lining just gum your lining use your lining to cut your fabric but if you're still okay with this there's nothing bad in it you can also use your fabric but it is advisable to use your lining that's after gumming it so these four lines you're seeing here is very very essential when you want to cut a, a padded clothes you need it four lines this one is um the half length this is the under bust line this is the bust point line and this is the upper bust line so the half length i used here is 17 and a half inches so the under bust is 14 inches so from under bust to the bust point that is bust point is 10 inches so if you measure here now you're going to have four inches the bust point is four inches so to get your upper bust line anything you have between your under bust and um, the bust line that is what you're going to measure here to get the upper bust line so that is that's about the four lines so after that you now come back to your bust point line then you measure the breast distance so the breast distance is at uh, nine inches divide by two we are going to divide it by two so i have 4.5 inches so you mark so you now go to your under bust line anything you have here you remove half half inch then you mark it here so i'm going to have four inches here like this mind you anything you have is what you're going to have here so just measure another four inches too so you connect your ruler so you now come here you measure four six inches sorry six inches this one is constant six inches constant then you connect it together remember we are not cutting the princess that this is another version of bustier cut so after getting this out now this is the center front so now i want to get the side front so is that side front that will determine how busty your clothes is going to be so depending on how busty the person is for you to know what you're going to measure to get the side so the bust i'm cutting for is in 36 the bust measurement is 36 so here i'm marking two inches Okay, sorry, the boss is 39. I'm marking out two inches from the under boss line. So, mind you, anything you measure out from here, that is where you're going to measure out from the on the upper boss line too. So, after this, you connect them together. Connect them together to the bust point. You have two inches here definitely you're going to have two inches here too so you mark you connect together like this then here you go straight don't forget that this place is very very sharp so we are not going to leave it like this so you now give it a suitable bust curve so you curve like this and then you slant this slant like this so by the time you measure this place now you should have like two and a half inches you can't come straight like this it won't give you what you want so by the time you give it a suitable bust curve then you go like this so when you measure you have like two and a half inches so after this now you are going to cut this out so as you can see i've cut out this 
that middle part so now to get the normal measurement the final measurement you are going to place this on this make sure these lines are equal they are lines so you're going to take your final measurement boss is 39 39 divided by 4 is going to be nine and a half so you mark two inches so in allowance then the under boss is 33 33 divided by 4 33 divided by 4 is going to give you 8.2 so you're going to mark then it was your two inches so in allowance then the waist is 36 just this is divided by four it's nine inches so you are going to mark then it was two inches so you connect them together connect them together you connect them together so from this point you are going to measure your shoulder which is the shoulder is 16 I'm marking out 8 inches so I'm going to add just 1 inch to the shoulder so you roll the line like this then from that point you measure 7 inches to pave way for your armhole definitely after journey you are still going to retrim again but just to pave way for the armhole so you now cut like this so now you cut it out so after cutting out this is what you are going to have this is the center front and this is the side front so now i want to get the center back and the side back so all you need to do is just place place the this both front and the, the center front and the side front and the fabric the remaining fabric then you get out the, the back I'm leaving one and a half inch for the back you know back is always higher than the front so I'm leaving out um, one and a half inch so this is two inches for the zip allowance so you need to do now is just Mind you, it's side back that you want to cut, so you don't need this bust. So, you're going to all you need to do is just fold it like this. And you follow this up. Cut it out. So, this is the this is the center front, and this is the side front. So, this is the center back. This is the side back, so you are going to open up this place. So, mind you, you need measure half inch on this side. You are going to measure nine inches from this point downward. So this half inch that you measure, you are going to trim it up to this place because of the you know back is not flat you now. The depth of that back, so it's for this place. So this is the side back, center back. So let us cut the flay. So cut out the flay. This is um one year of fabric. Let's put it into the same. 
and you fold into four again. You fold it into four, and you fold into eight, like this. So the waist is um, 36. So you are going to divide it three times. 36 divided by 2, 18. 18 divided by 2, 9 inches. So 9 divided by 2 is um, 4 and a half, I think. 4 and a half. So you have 4 and a half inches here. We are going to mark. You can you can rule it straight. You can give it a normal cycle copy it will still give you what you want. So then the length of the blouse is um the blouse length is twenty six. Twenty six. So after removing the seven thin and a half inches of the half length. So this is what you are going to have. 17 and a half inches for the half length. So you are going to use that to complete the blouse length, which is 26. But mind you, the blouse is going to have uh, the flare is going to have little gathers. So I'm going to increase this place. So the excess that I have here is what I will use for the gathers. So I'm going to like remove two inches. From here, so I'll cut it out. Now I have excess, so that will serve as my gathers. So this is the 26, this is the 26. And this is the 26. So you're going to cut it out. I'm adding just half inch because of the sewing. So the same comes. So this is my flame. This is what I have. This is what you're going to have as a flame. So that's that about the flame. So after when you might have joined it and you give it thorough ironing this is what you're going to have this is the lining for the front then this is the, the fabric for the front this is the lining for the bags two side bags center and side back joint together so this is the fabric this is the line so all you need to do now is you trim out you're going to trim out your neck neckline so you're going to arrange the, the plate very well so the line you arrange the fabric on it so Make sure this place and this place they are equal. You do the same as the down part. So this, you fold it into two equal parts and you place it on it like this too. Make sure they are equal. They align with this one. So you place it back to the fabric on it. Make sure they are equal. So this is what you're going to have. So now you take your under bust measurement, which is 14. You're going to measure like this. I have 14 here, so you mark 13 and a half. Plant it like this a little bit, then here there are two inches. You 
just want it so by the time you join this one will come like this so this back side will be the one that will complete the under bus measurement which is 14 inches so you will measure it and make sure it gives you now this is 13 and a half so let's see going to remove half again so by the time you join now and it comes like this it will give you your 14 inches so here we are going to trim make sure they are equal both the front and the back forget the shoulder is on um, 16 so you're going to mark 17 you will measure your 7 inches again then you trim you're still paving way for the handball this is not the main handball you're still going to trim again you trim this place and make sure that it comes All this training doesn't have any effect on the measurement. You're still going to have your full measurement. So the blouse is going to be a bishop collar neck. It's going to be a tot. Some people call it tot neck. So you just measure 2.2 inches like this. Then 4 inches like this. And then you curve. So this point, I'm going to cut like this. So it's going to come like this. It's going to be a bishop collar neck. So after this, you cut um the bishop collar neck. You're going to fit. You're going to fix it on it. Then you take your after turning the bodies with the lining. You're going to take your normal measurement. Then I'm going to fix the flay. I'm going to turn the flay with lining too. I'll fix it, then I'll turn it. So don't forget it's going to be a coat shoulder blouse. So you're going to measure the sleep length from this point. Which is uh, the sleep length is 17 inches. So close the two inches. So the the armhole circumference is um, 19. So from this point, they are going to measure 5 inches like this. So you curve, curve this slit like this to this point. So the armhole circumference is 19. So you close your tape like this. Nine and a half. So you mark here. Then the biceps here is um, 14 inches, which is so after marking out the, the circumference measurement, which is 19, nine and a half inches. So the bicep is um, 14 divided by 2, which is 7 inches. So the round sleeve is 12, which is um, 6. So you are going to connect them together. Make them together like this. So this will be your sewing allowance. So now you are going to cut it out. So since it's going to be a coat shoulder, depending on how wide you want this place to be. So from this point, you just measure three inches like this. Then you shape it to this point. If you want it wider, you can add more depending on how open you want that place to be so you just put it so you cut it out that is that about the sleeve so after turning the lining and the bodies you join the flay together with the body this is what you are going to have this is what you are going to have the excess i i had it the other time but as a result of um this 
kissing position. So you can do gathers, you can do kissing position, depending on what you want to do. So now I'm going to trim, do final trimming for the arm pole. So the shoulder is um, 15, 7 and a half inches. So I'm adding the half for the joint. Do the same thing here. So you're measuring 8 inches, making 16 altogether. So now you measure 7 inches from here. Cut it out. So you take this one, this is so you measure it round and see whether it's giving you the circumference measurement. If it's not giving you, then you, you increase it. Now this is 17 and I'm looking for 19 so you had So by the time you join, by the time you sew it, that half you should be hard up to it. So now the cut shoulder sleeve, the cut shoulder sleeve. So the cut shoulder sleeve. After turning this place, turning this place around with bias, so you join the normal sleeve measurements here. So this is how it's going to look like. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it like this. So this is the cut shoulder. This is the place we shaped out. Then here you are going to pipe it inside. Then this is the neck. Don't for, don't forget I told you guys it's going to be a bishop neck. So if you go through my previous videos, you see a video tutorial on how to cut a bishop collar and how to fix it. This is zip. This is the this is the good face and this is the back. So you're just going to place it like this, placing down. Then you place your machine footer, the left leg on it like this. And you match it. You are going to sew exactly on this line so that you don't match the zip. So I think I match. Like you can allow the zip to read this edge as well, and also stop here. It doesn't mean anything that you match your stitch, you turn it over, then you place on the opposite side. Make sure these two joints are aligned. So, I'm going to place it like this. So this is the inner bodies of the clothes. This is the back, and this is the front. After turning with the lining, so you turn it the other way around. So this is the zip. As you can see, this is the zip. See the joining. Make sure it aligns to the double flip. Everything is equal and perfect. So this place. I'm going to cut it off. So the bishop collar is going to go around it. The bishop collar will cover it up. Then fix the sleeve. That's that. Thank you everybody for watching. See you in my next video.